So the next encounter is Morgoth. And at Morgoth, Morgoth is just a large ogre that has a crit spot on his back. And obviously, this is an encounter where DPS is going to matter, doing DPS quickly. So just to give you some ideas for DPS, there are a couple different ways to do it. You can obviously stand in the very front of the room and you can use snipers or linear fusion rifles. That is one way to do it. What a lot of people do is they'll use swords or shotguns in the back. So if you, where you spawn in after you go through the jumping puzzle, if you go all the way to the back behind him, he has a crit spot in his back, his big bulbous mass. And that's usually where most people do it. So that's personally what I would do if you want to finish off this encounter. Again, for team composition, you're going to want to have two teams, one right, one left, composed of three people. On each side, you're going to want to have one person who is going to pick up the Eye of Riven. And then you're going to have to have another person who's doing Ad Clear and another person who's picking up Taken Strength. Taken Strength will spawn throughout the encounter. In fact, to start the encounter, you'll have to pick up an initial Taken Strength. Once you do this, the encounter will start. You'll need to have person get on the right and left, pick up two Taken Strength. They're little blight looking items that you jump through and you can't get more than two. You can get two, if you get three, you die. And the problem is, is when you do that, it's going to put that Taken Strength back on the field, which is gonna require you to have to collect it again. Get those first two and kill ads. It's very important to kill ads as quickly as possible on the right and left, because as you're doing that, you're going to see they're at the very top, you know, in the back of the area, you're going to see that there are more yellow bars that spawn. It's very important to get those down because at one point there's gonna be one on each side that's gonna be a knight that'll give you an eye of ribbon. You're gonna to need to have two designated players, one on the right and one on the left, who are gonna kill those knights and collect that eye of ribbon. It has different, again, if you've played Vile Disciple, it's very dis, uh, similar to the one in there. It has different, depend, you can use your grenade and you use your supers and other things. The grenade attack is what you're gonna to need to use in this encounter, your grenade and potentially the super attack. Once the people on the right and left have collected or taken strength, one person, either on the right and left, who has taken strength, is going to be frozen and won't be able to move. And if you don't get to them in time, they're going to die. To unfreeze them, you'll need someone with, with the Eye of Riven to do their grenade attack to unfreeze them. Now again, you don't know first who's going to be frozen, if it's right or left, and you don't know at that point who's going to have the Eye of Riven, right? Because it could be possible that one side is behind. That's why it's really important for the people that have taken strength to stay as close to the middle as possible so people can get to you quickly because you are on a timer. If you do happen to die, you're gonna die and that taken strength is going back on the field. Now, once the person with the Eye of Riven does a grenade attack, they're going to absorb the taken strength from the player that they just worked with. So then at that point, that person who had the taken strength before can now pick up the additional taken strength. So again, on the right and left after that, you're gonna basically have two more taken strength that you have to pick up. So the other person who's doing ad clear or the person who just got unfrozen can go pick that up on both the right and left. The goal is by the time you finish the end of this encounter is that there'll be a total of 10 taken strengths that'll be picked up to start the DPS phase. The other key to this is that you're going to do this as quickly as possible because Morgoth has a counter. It's like you'll see his strength is 10%, 20%, 40%, whatever. The, the higher that is, the less time you have to finish it because when it gets to 100%, it's a wipe mechanic. So you're going to want to do all of this as quickly as possible. The other thing is towards the end, you're going to have one more person pick up an Eye of Riven and there's a reason for this. So once you pick up that last strength off of the field, that's where DPS starts. So again, my primary recommendation is to go in the back, you know, put down a well, you know, use tractor cannon or whatever you have, use shotguns and just continue to do damage. Now, if you do this, again, you can also use Lament. We've used Lament in some of our runs. So if you do that, but it is hard to hit him with that. Just keep in mind, because he's kind of, he's just, his hitbox is not very easy to hit. But if you do that, you can finish him off. Now, what you'll notice is if you haven't been quickly enough, you'll see the counter going 80%, 90%. That's where the Eye of Riven comes into play. At that point, you can use the Eye of Riven super attack to basically, just like you did in Shurichi, to basically stun the boss and reset the encounter. Now, if you're good with DPS, you're gonna get this in one phase. If you're not, you're going to need to do that to prevent the fire team from wiping, and then you'll just do the entire sequence again. Again, this is a fairly, I would say, confusing encounter for new players 
just because there's a lot moving going on and there's a lot of moving parts. The other thing with this encounter is that it requires everyone to play a role. And sometimes because people might die in what role they're at, it requires people then to compensate and potentially pick up a role they hadn't planned on. So that's one thing to keep in mind. You need some strong players to kind of finish this encounter. But from a DPS perspective, as long as you're on point, you do everything quickly, you have plenty of time, He's not the most difficult boss to finish from a DPS perspective. Once you're complete with this, you'll head to the vault. So again, guys, if you like these videos, feel free to check out my other raid guide videos. I have an entire list where you can get those if you're struggling with other raids. But that's the video. If you like it, feel free to like the video, subscribe to my channel, jump my Discord, and I'll see you, Guardians in the Tower.